Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where I will be showing you how to make espresso with this crazy looking contraption right here. I call it a handheld espresso portable maker thing, but yeah, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you how to use this today. But before we do that, I just wanted to share a couple things with you is uh, the fact that first off, this t-shirt that I'm wearing right here with this lovely blue eucalyptus leaf is uh, a design of mine that I have recently put on my uh, in my web store and uh, I think it just looks pretty great if I do say so myself. I love wearing it um, and I have actually, uh, funny enough, gotten some compliments on it. So that's pretty great. It's nice of people. So if you like this shirt and would like to purchase this, you can uh, head over to my web store. I'll have the link below the video. It's all below the video. <laughs> and. Also, the mug that I'm going to be using today right here, this compass mug, it's got a compass on either side. That is also available right now in my web store. So if you, if you like this mug that I'll be using, you can get that as well, along with other t-shirts and mugs that I've designed lately. I have been designing like a nutcase. So I'm happy about the stuff that I've designed lately, and so if you like it, I'm, I'm sure you'll be happy about it too. You can uh, head over there and get it. All right, now with that out of the way, I am going to show you how to use this thing. I made a video recently where I tried to use this for the first time and I failed pretty miserably actually. It was hilarious, but um, yeah, I messed up. It was the first time I did it. You know, the first time doesn't always go so well. So you can see that too. But before, before we uh, dive into this and I show you how to use this um, handheld espresso maker, mini presso I think anyway, this thing, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what all the parts are for it. I got a spam call as I was making this video. How annoying is that? Anyway, before uh, I dive into that and show you how to use this thing, let me show you the parts for it real quickly. Um, I'm gonna take it all apart for you. So we have this uh, short end here uh, that just comes right off. It's not like a screw on, um, it just pops off. It's just, I don't know what it's called. Okay, so actually I found out or figured out, you know, it's pretty obvious actually. This right here is the cup. So if you don't have a nice cup like this or just another mug that you're going to use for it, then you can use this as a cup. You can just put the espresso into here like that. So that is the cup. That's why it's called the cup. You can actually use it for a cup. It's nice for espresso. It's small. Um, but I, I don't use this for a cup. I haven't used this. I always just use a mug because I brew it at home like probably 90% of us will anyway. This was the mistake I made last time. I had this on the bottom, which this is where the espresso comes out. So I filled this thing up, it poured all over onto the table, not good. I'll put that away over there. Okay, now you have the other end, which is like longer, and this is where you pour the hot water into. So there's that part. And then um, when you take that off, you have uh, this part as well, the other side. Um, and uh, here's the middle chamber area. And here you have, uh, you've got two components in here. This is where the espresso comes out. There's a, there's a hole right there, which is where the espresso drips from. And then you have this, which is the espresso chamber, I guess, where you put your coffee grounds in. So I have hot water right here, just to the side. I'm gonna get going with this here. So here we go, step by step. I have ground my espresso into this silver chamber here. I'm not going to talk about this espresso grinder again. I have bagged on it so many times. That's in the other video too if you want to see that and on my website. It's like everywhere. So I'm going to pour the espresso in. Oops. All right. Trying not to spill too much. Okay. So I've kind of got it up to the top here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm just going to give it a couple um, taps on the uh, table or surface, whatever you're using. It pushes it down a little bit, so I'm, I can put a little more in, fill it up, and then um, I'll just do that one more time. You could tamp it with something as well. Tamp it meaning like push it down if you have like a coffee scoop that fits in there. It actually comes with one, so you can use that. Um, I just do this though, myself, and that is good to go. So you screw the top part of this on, just like that. All right, and then this, is going to go into the middle chamber, uh, but actually that's later, sorry. <laughs> so you have this ready. 
that's that's like step one basically and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh long part here on the end and you're going to pour hot water into here you're going to pour it about you're going to want to put about halfway to three quarters full depending on how strong you want your espresso um i like it pretty strong so i put it you know about halfway full give or take there we go so there's hot water in here don't turn this over put this down and then the the side with the red um, ring around it that goes on top of here so you're gonna just screw that on top be careful as you do this um, and then just screw it so that it's uh, so that it's just nice and snug you don't need to like crank it <laughs> like crazy um, but just make sure it's on there nice and tight so we're good to go there um, now I'm gonna take the espresso chamber and I am going to take the red ring turn that upside down and put it just on top in here and it'll snap in yeah it kind of it kind of uh, doesn't snap in but it, it, it gets um, secured into there so it's not like moving right now all right and then this part goes just uh, this is the part with the little hole there this just goes right on top and this is where the espresso is going to come out so so I have screwed this on and this is uh, I can put this on nice and tight all right this is a fun part right here <laughs> so um it's, it's got directions on here how to open and close it i have it closed right now and i twist it and open it up so now it's sticking out like that and with our mug in place ready to pour it in here we go we're just going to press this until all the water is empty depending remember on how strong you want to make your espresso so here we go turn it over and press Go for it. Boom. All right. It takes like maybe 10 pushes of this of this button before. I'll use one hand, but it's kind of hard with one hand. Ugh, it takes a lot of strength. Okay, there we go. It's coming out now. Um, all right, so that's that. Now I like to use two hands. So I am pressing it, and you can see the espresso is um, it's coming out, like from an espresso machine or something. It's really great. This... Um, this espresso tastes quite nice, actually. I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a second. I think it's, I can feel that it's almost done. I feel it, yes. So this thing is now easier to press. Um, and uh, yeah, the water is, uh, is just barely dripping out now. So that means it's done. Um, and when, you, when you're done here, it will continue to drip out of here um, afterwards. So, you know, I like to clean it right afterward. But I'll just set this to the side right now. And um, so for it to be espresso, it has to have crema, right? The golden crema. So this, um, this actually does have some crema. It might not be the most amazing espresso you could possibly buy or make or whatever, but it's good. It's definitely good. So let me show you the crema here. If you can see. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. There is indeed a crema on this. It's not super, um, it's not very thick. It's not very big, but it's there. And this is real espresso. Now I'll just do a taste test. Mmm, very nice. Nice body, nice flavor, just like espresso should be. All right, that is how you make coffee or make espresso with, um, with this handheld espresso maker. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. Again, you know, this is, it's not only a, a pretty easy way to make espresso, it's a great way to make espresso for a lot less than espresso machines are for. This is like, this is like way less than half the price of, um, of a lot of espresso makers out there, like the, the automatic or the semi-automatic ones. So um, it's good stuff. So you can get that on my site. If you have any questions at all about how to make this or any other procedures with it, please feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to answer them for you if you write a comment on the, on the video in YouTube or on my site or whatever. And enjoy your espresso, enjoy your day, and coffee cheers!